Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a new bottle here in my cask. It's the Black Bottle 10 years of age. The Gordon Graham's Black Bottle, well, was introduced in 1879 with the family receipt of the, yeah, the Gordon Graham or the Grahams and since then they uh, kept the receipt and the taste of the whiskey, well, more or less the same. And I think the former black bottle without an age statement was produced only from uh, whiskies from the Isle of Isla, if I remember right. I'm not quite sure, not 100% sure about that. Today we have here a 10 year old, which is for 20 years the first new bottle uh, from Gordon Graham, 40% ABV and priced around 30. So it's 50% more expensive than the normal black bottle, but it carries an age statement of 10 years now. It's 40% ABV and it contains smoky whiskey. Today only 95% of the whiskies come from the Isle of Isla and 5% is said to come from Tobomori. So I will look at the back side of this card box, what they tell here. Uh -huh. Celebrating the first new release in almost 20 years, our Black Bottle 10 year old stays true in the brand's perfectly blended history. Fully matured in American oak casks, so no sherry casks. This exquisite scotch keeps the rich full flavors of the 1998 namesake whilst introducing malty and woodier notes to the palate. Well, longer maturation, more woody notes. Tasting color rich amber gold. That's a dark bottle, <laughs> can't see it yet. Nose, smoky background with notes of honey, fruits and vanilla. Palette, sweet rich oak, soft fruit, balanced with a smoky spiciness. Finish long and lingering with a sweet peppery finish. That's it. Gordon Graham Black Bottle. So this is a blended whiskey, a little cheaper, and so they have a screw cap and no cork, which may turn bad. So here we go. Yeah, lightly smoky, but not too much. Say 15, 20. And it's sad, uh, a lot of these whiskies come from Bunnehaven. So one of the lead malls inside this blended whisky is Bunnehaven. And Bunnehaven produces uh, smoky and unsmoky whisky. Yeah, a lot of uh, or growing smokiness, the longer you have your nose in it. Light fruitiness below. Not too intense. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. In the start, a little bit too weak, but then intensity, spiciness hits you, and there is spiciness on your tongue, smokiness kicks in, covers your mouth. So this one has to be the last one in a day or if you have more <laughs> smoky whiskies afterwards. So this is distinctively smoky. Yeah, a little spiciness in the aftertaste and now now there's this light honey note, which was sad. Yeah, a little dryness appearing. Mm-hmm. It starts smooth and then gets the kick of the 10 year maturation in oak casks. Yeah, this is not too complicated, not too smoky. Uh, it's a good, normal, typical, mo uh, more than normal, smoky blended whiskey. Yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.